Welcome to Bubble Gum Direct's training video for our Sage and Blush inflated number balloon stack. So this is one of our popu most popular balloon stacks and we're sure that you can see why. The colours are just super cute. The colours that we're using today are actually predominantly Tuftex. There are a few other brands in there, but we've got Tuftex Willow, which we love, Tuftex Empowerment, which we don't know what we ever did without, and Tuftex Cameo. So those are the base colours there. And then we've got a few extras, which is the Reflex Gold from Sempertex. And we've also got the Pastel Dusk Cream for the little daisies that you can see on there, which just work perfectly with the Grabo number balloons. So we've got the cream 26 inch Grabo number balloons that we're using today. But we'll talk you through all of those balloons as we go through. And then up at the end of the video, there'll be a slide that'll come up just with the quantities that we've got of each of the balloon colors in case you want to replicate the exact design or put your own twist on it by replacing some of the balloons. You can do whatever you want to do. So first of all, what do you need to make the number stack? You're going to need either a timed blower, which we're using a premium Conwin time blower, which we love, but we realize that's a big investment. And if you're only making one or two of these a week, then you definitely don't need to invest in that because you've got the equally good balloon box sizes that are available. So we're blowing up all of our 12 inch balloons to 8.5 inches and all of our five inch balloons to four inches here. Then the next thing that you're gonna need is 260 modeling balloons. So we've got a range there, as I mentioned, of the Calisan Mirror Gold and the Pastel Dust Cream, which is a Sempertex. So we've got two different types of 260s in there. Now we've got our own weighted sandbags, which we're making out of an 18 inch balloon filled with a couple of scoops of sand. We're just using like pincers to hold those open. And then we scoop the sand inside because we can then tie that neck to neck with the bottom of the base structure, which we find works most effectively with the number stacks and we're making lots of them. So we feel like we've given it a good test here. <laughs> and then we've got 12 inch balloons or 11 inch balloons. So we've got a mixture here of Sempertex 12 inch Reflex Gold and then the 11 inch, which I've already mentioned is Tuftex Willow Empowerment and Cameo. Gorgeous color combination. And then we've got the five inch balloons in the same colors. And then we've got the all important high bond adhesive roll from Oasis, which literally is an absolute godsend because it just sticks anything onto those number balloons or to the balloons on the base. It's just fantastic. So a good investment and it goes a long way. We know it's pricey, but it does go a long way. So the Grabo balloons are our number balloon of choice for the number stacks. And the reason for that is because the number stack then doesn't look too top heavy. It's a nice size number to sit on top of the base. It just works perfectly. So we're going to start out blowing the base of the balloon. So the first thing we're blowing is our 11 inch balloons and we're blowing those up to 8.5 inches and we're just twisting those together into a quad. Nice and tight neck to neck so it's not too loose because you want that structure to be secure at the bottom. So we need two quads of the 12 inch balloons blown up to 8.5 inches to start us off. And once you've got those blown up, we're then gonna blow up the five inch balloons. So we blow up our five inch balloons to four inches and we're just tying those together into a quad again. So once we've got the quad of the five inch balloons, we're gonna tie that neck to neck with the base of the 11 inch balloons so that it sits nice and snug, ties it in tightly together. So we just want that structure to be nice and secure at the bottom, so it's not going anywhere.
and then we're going to tie the other quad of 11 inches on top again neck to neck concentration there as you try and get that fiddly bit done <laughs> Making sure you're double knotting it so it's not going anywhere. And then we've got the number balloon, which I'm blowing up there with a hand pump. You can use a machine or a hand pump, whatever you're used to doing. And then we're going to tie the 260Q around the neck of the balloon, of the number balloon. And we're going to tie that into the structure using that 260. So we're just wrapping that into the middle and then tying that into a double knot so that it's nice and secure and it's definitely not going anywhere. cut off the excess there so it stays nice and neat and then we're going to blow up some five inch balloons into quads of minis which we're going to use to just decorate the edges of the base so just going to start off kind of stage by stage so blowing up the five inch balloons to just a random size these the you know they're supposed to be organic so it's better that they're not the same size so I'm just blowing them up to the same size letting a bit of air out so they're all a bit different Twisting those together. So I'm going to have three quads of five inch balloons there in the end. Twist those. And then Take the air out of the 260Q, tie that in knot in the end so that it becomes stronger. Tie that onto the quad and then we're going to tie that into a loop so that we've got a loop to loop it into the base. And repeat that process until you've done it for each of those clusters. And then loop those in to around the edges of the base and it just finishes it off. So one on each side, one in the middle at the front. You can see how it all kind of comes together. And now we're going to add some pearls onto this. It's just part of the detail on these. So I do 3.5 to 4 blows with the hand pump into the 260Q, tie that into a knot and then we're going to start making pearls. So you make the first one, roll five times, slide it into two of your fingers that you're not going to use and then just keep going till each of the beads are roughly the same size, don't beat yourself up too much. And then you're going to twist that in. So different to when you're wrapping it around the balloons, you're just going to find a five inch balloon that you're going to twist that one in and then find somewhere nice roughly for it to end at the other end. Twist that in. Then we just want to get rid of the excess that we don't want anymore. So snip the end and let the air slowly out of that excess part. And then once the air's all out, you can tie that into 
position so it's not going to go anywhere. Just tie that around the five inch balloon that you were on so it's nice and secure at the end and then your pearls won't change at all. And you can see the pearls are just kind of dangling there so we're just going to use a bit of this amazing tape to stick it onto the back of one of the pearls into the position that we've chosen. So it just kind of drapes over. It looks super cute. Now we're making the daisies. So these are a bit different to the daisies on the pastel pink daisy stack. So again, that's 3.5 to 4 pumps using the hand pump to start us off. And then we're going to twist a small sausage there and we're going to twist it into another small sausage. And what we've created there is the first of the petals. So they're like doubled up together. So you twist that and then to secure it, just push the neck through the middle a couple of times till it feels nice and secure. And then roughly, again, don't beat yourself up too much because they are quite forgiving. Try and get your next petal roughly the same size. So you want to create two again, just twisting it onto each other. And we're going to repeat that five times so that you've got five petals when you're done. So first of all, make the first part of the petal and then twist the last part. Just keeping hold of it safely there. Trying to make sure it's the right size. Got a few things going on at the same time. <laughs> Always a bit complicated. Just twisting that in. See how you just twist it into the middle there? And it just kind of helps tie all of the others together. Don't worry about how flat it is initially because we fixed that part at the end. You just want your petals to be roughly the same size. Fold it in. Twist. A few times. Now you've got your five petals. So you lay those flat, just like that. Now you want to get rid of the back bit. So we're going to cut the air out of that. And you're just going to be able to tie that to the neck of the other balloon, to the neck of the beginning of the balloon, basically. Tie that in a double knot. And then you want a small balloon for the middle. Just going to tie that. Nice and tight and nice and small. Going to pull that in from the front to the back and then use that end that we've got to tie that securely again. It just helps knotting it. And that, once you cut away the excess, is the first of your daisies. So easy and so cute. They look way more complicated than they actually are, don't they? With all of the kind of ends fitting nicely together, twisted. So we're just repeating that process now. And the more you do it, the easier you find. You know, it's just that saying, isn't it? Practice makes perfect. So don't forget to push the neck through the middle of the first petal a few times. Because if you forget that part of it, you're always worrying about that first petal. You just want to be able to forget that entirely. And then keep on going. Same, same, same. Till we've got five petals. One more to go. There we go, five petals. Lay those all out nice and flat. And get rid of the air from the back. I'm just going to twist that around. You're not always going to be able to get the neck of the balloon because it's twisted in amongst all of those petals. 
So in this instance, I'm just going to wrap it around a few times and that'll be plenty because I'll then use that to tie the middle balloon into position, which will mean that that's knotted at the end there eventually. So tie your middle balloon nice and small. Put that into the middle and then using that excess balloon from the 260Q, we're just going to knot that into position. And cut off the excess. And just like that, one more daisy. I love how these look. I just think they look really classy. A nice daisy. So we're speeding me up here. If only we could do them that quick each time. <laughs> but because it gets a bit boring, it's copy and repeat, copy and repeat, five petals. And I can't stress enough, don't beat yourself up. Those petals are very forgiving, much more forgiving than you think. They don't have to be exactly the same. Get rid of the air at the end, twist it around a few times so it's nice and secure. Add your middle balloon and then tie to that extra end bit that we've got. Cut off the excess and you're good to go. Now we're going to use the Magic Oasis tape to stick these on. I'm going to put a couple on the number, which looks super cute. All of them actually around the bottom of that number three, which looks lovely. And then straight into making the next one. So we're making the base again, blowing up the 11 inch balloons to 8.5 inches. Two quads, neck to neck, nice and tight. So they're nice and secure. We don't want them loose like we do when we're making garlands. We want them nice and tight. And then the five inch balloons to four inches. and then tie the five inch balloons neck to neck with the base. That's perfect. Double knot that there. See how nice and snug they are. And add on the top layer of 11 inch balloons that have been blown to eight inches. I'm just literally wrapping the neck around the back there and tying that into position. Bit of concentration. <laughs> It's always the fiddliest part, but it's the most important part. You get this wrong and you're going to mess up the whole thing. You need to make sure that the base is nice and tight and tied together. And once you've fiddled around with it, lay it all flat, pop it all into position, get there in the end. <laughs> That's it. And then we're going to tie on the sand weight. So we've got the sand weight already prepped. We're going to tie that neck to neck at the bottom there. Blow up the number balloon, wrap the 260Q around the inflating part of the number balloon and tie it into a double knot and then use that 260Q to tie that into the structure. Remember to take the air out of the 260Q and tie it in a knot so it's nice and secure and then you're going to make your organic quads of 5 inch balloons. Three organic quads of 5 inch balloons to go at the front, the left and the right. I don't know what I'm giggling at there. <laughs> and then we're going to tie the 260Q around the middle of the quad of mini balloons and tie a loop into the end of it. We're going to do that on each of those so it's ready to go. That's perfect. So one at the front, one at the left and one at the right. And then we're going to make our pearls. Keep on twisting. Till it's as long as you want it to be. And then you're going to twist the first end that you made into one of the clusters of five inch balloons. Twist it around a few times so it's nice and secure. And then kind of trail it over 
it's just just an organic kind of thing and then use the balloon tape to tie it in to stick it into position wherever you think it looks best it could be up down doesn't matter and then we're back to making daisies again so five petals roughly the same size don't stress too much snip out the air from the end wrap it around the petals a few times blow up a small gold balloon for the middle and tie that to the back and then last daisy here we go don't forget to push the neck through the first petal to make sure that it's nice and secure wrap it around a few times there's that saying if you don't know knots do lots and that is my technique for everything just do lots of knots and it'll be absolutely fine <laughs> So that's our fifth petal, looking beautiful, squeeze out the air, oh we've got the neck there so we were able to tie that which is perfect but you don't always have that luxury because you've twisted it and you're concentrating on twisting it so it's fine. So that's perfect and then you're going to stick those using that bond from Oasis into position on your number balloon. And that is the Sage and Blush Inflated Number Balloon Stack. How beautiful do they, do they look as the finished product? They are so popular, so easy, so effective, so replicable. replicable. <laughs> I can't even say that word. You can repeat this process time and time again. So don't forget to tag us in your creations. We really want to see them. So please do. Looking forward to it. Thanks again.